Yo, what is going on guys? It is the Legendary Cole and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you all 13 mystery decals currently in Rocket League when I'm recording this. So basically, I have a video on my channel that is all 10 and that is now out of date as a lot of people have been commenting, where's Stormwatch, where's Trigon, where's Chameleon, all three of the new ones. So I thought why not go ahead and make this video right here and update the old one. So guys, I'm basically going to go through them and just show you my personal favorite designs on all of them and what all 13 look like. If you guys have a favorite, let me know down in the comments below and also let me know what your favorite colors are for mystery decals as well. If this video helped you guys, make sure you drop a like or if you enjoyed, drop a like as well. Also, let me know if you guys want to see all of the mystery goal explosions as I might do a video on that. Let me know in the comments below or just drop a like on the video and I'll know. Alright guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, so here are all 13 mystery decals currently in Rocket League. So basically, I will be going through these alphabetical order and showing you all of them on my car and my favorite designs on them. We have 20XX, Biomass, Bubbly, Chameleon, Heatwave, Hexed, Labyrinth, Parallax, Slipstream, Spectre, Stormwatch, Tora, and Trigon. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first mystery decal. Alright guys, to start this off, we have 20XX. Uh, this is one of my favorites, I would say. I wouldn't say put at the top, but I do like this one. This look quite a bit. Uh, we have it fading off to black and gold is which I, what I like about this. And then the other color here, the red color, we have it fading off to a bluish, but I do not like this one as much. I like the other one, and I'll go ahead and show you those colors real quick. So here are the colors for this. I'll just click on all of them so you can kind of get a quick glance. And if you need to pause it at any point, you can go ahead and pause those on those colors. So guys, I'm going to try and move quickly through this as I said. So let's go ahead and go over to biomass. Biomass, um, it's pretty straightforward. Mystery decal, one of the cheaper ones, obviously. And we're rocking a green and then a oranges. So if you want to see those colors, I mean, it's not like too difficult to get colors for the biomass just because of how simple it is. But here are the colors for those. Um, yeah, you can probably just figure that out yourself. But anyways, I would rate this lower on the list of mystery decals. Let's move on to the next one. Bubbly is the next mystery decal on this list. And this is pretty similar to my old video, if you have seen that. Um, I like the light blue in the front and then I use a green in the back on the blue color and then I use a pink in the back on the red color. So if you do like these designs, uh, this is the color scheme I have going on for them. Uh, I used to actually the top left green and then uh, the middle-ish blue right there, kind of near the middle. And I use the same blue for each one the pink up there and then the same blue right there. I think this is, has to be one of my favorites. I do really like this bubbly design. Next up we have one of the brand new mystery decals, one of the new ones and this honestly is probably my favorite look at the moment. I think this color scheme is so sick. But anyways this is for the blue color scheme and then this is for the red I do really like both of these. I have to say I like the blue more. But anyways, if you want to make this, it is, consists of these colors right up here. You got this darkish blue, not too dark though, and then this red. I think it just kind of blends really well together. Kind of looks like a dragon skin almost. And same with this one as well. I just use a dark red and then a white. And this is what I use currently on my car. Of course, I have like different wheels and stuff like that. but. This is what I use at the moment, and I think it looks fantastic. Moving on to the next one, I have Heat Wave. And in my old video, if you've seen that as well, I used darker colors, but a lot of people commented saying you can barely see it, and they didn't like it as much because of that. So I tried to use lighter colors in this one. As you can see, I use a lighter blue for the blue, but then I end up do using black still. Uh, I think it does look better with darker colors, here is the red. Uh, I think it, as I was saying though, I think it does look better with darker. I mean, you can darken these up and then lighten the black up. It is true, you can barely see it, but I think it looks sick how it is black. And then on this one, when you darken it, it's pretty red there. I think that looks 
really good. However, I did choose to do lighters this time through. Going on to Hex, I would have to rate this one pretty high on my list as well. Basically, Hexed with just a white and then any basically color looks really good, especially these two colors on the blue and the red are dope looking. So if you want to see this, uh, I just use a dark blue and then the white. And then I'd use a pink, a pretty light pink actually, and the white as well on both of them. These are fantastic looking car. You can do so much with this. And especially if you have a white octane, it looks even better. Coming on the next one, we have Labyrinth, which is another really basic one. Uh, not too much you can do with this. Uh, I just use a lightest blue. I kind of, uh, I kind of like this one right here. It's like a goldish color. I think this is the best version of Labyrinth you can get. But if you want to do that gold version, you just go down to the color right here. It's almost like a brown, but I think it does look gold, and I think it looks pretty good. And this one, I honestly think it's probably the best as well. Not too much you can do otherwise. I mean, you can make it look green, which is not terrible, but I do like the blues. <laughs> Next up, this one is a bit of a joke to me, just because the fact that I like to make this look like a Minecraft block, I mean... Yeah, you can kind of tell it looks like a grass block a little bit. I don't really use parallax too much, so I kind of like just doing that. And if I was to do a legit pink car, I think I'd make it look like this with a pink and then a kind of gray going off of it. That does look cool, and you can make it look cool, but I kind of just like to do this just for fun. Anyways, if you do want to make those colors, here they are. It is that green right there, and then the brown, and it kind of just makes it look like a dirt block. But not too much uh and then the pink i use the top pink and then i just use a gray which is the middle one exactly so you could make this car pretty easily uh i would have to rate it kind of lower though next up is slipstream and i'm not a huge fan of the pink one right here i this is like my favorite look for it but i don't like it as much uh i don't think it flows very well there probably is better looks uh, let me know if you guys have those of course uh, But yeah, I kind of just use this and then I do like this purple scheme though uh, Especially if you use kind of a darker purple sometimes it does look better And then you have matching wheels to go with it or uh, like this right here I kind of like that that is like my favorite looking slipstream. I would have to say But anyways guys you kind of just saw the colors I was using I'll go back through one more time and click on them because I was kind of fast so you can pause the video of course if you do want to replicate these and uh, this one I mean maybe go lighter on or something like that yeah that looks good right there as well so there are this look it, I'd probably do that actually that looks a little bit better but then let's go ahead and move on to the next one Spectrate, this is probably the lowest rated on my list I do not like the look of this mystery decal because of all the weird lines going on but anyways, I try and hide them by doing this. As you can see, the middle lines, there's only one black one and then the big one, of course. And I hide them on the side as well. Uh, many people do like this mystery decal, so let me know what color combos you guys you do use in the comments below because I would like to see some. This one's not bad, but again, it's not my favorite mystery decal. But uh, anyways, here are the colors I use. If you do like this... I wouldn't mind using this color scheme, but I don't know what other color schemes I would use. Going on to one of the brand new ones as well is Stormwatch. This one, uh, I don't mind the yellow on this. I'm not a big fan of yellow, but on this one, I think the yellow looks really good, especially with this gray right here. So here it is for the orange team. And then on the blue, this has to be one of the coolest looking uh, decals I think with the blue it almost looks like it's glowing of course I'm a fan of the blue but uh, I think these two colors go really well in this one to make it look like it's glowing and I think you could do some really sick things with this mystery decal anyways let's go on to Tora not too much has changed here since my last video uh, basically do the dark blue and the dark gray both looking kind of good and then the the light uh, orange and the light white as well. These basically are these colors right here. It's pretty much the same. So let's move on past these ones. 
And then coming on to the very last mystery decal, we have Trigon. And Trigon is one of the new ones as well. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I do think you can make it look pretty cool. So basically, I use the blue for both of these colors right here. I use a green and blue and a pink and blue. I don't know too many designs for this one yet as I just got this one. But I think you can do some cool stuff like that blue right there. I think that looks pretty sick with the blue. I'm actually turning that on. But both these look pretty cool. And then the pink and blue, I think that is a very good color combo as well. Which I will show you both of those. And that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up on it. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day and peace out.